intersection. You said it three times. And then all of a sudden, you let the traffic come through, and I'm trying to put out bike rack while dodging cars at the same time. Don't. You think I'm going to fucking take it off now? I don't expect you to get put yourself in danger. Oh, yeah? Well, then expect you we got create... cars coming in from, both, from all four intersections while I'm in the middle of it. What was that? To... Oh, really? Yes. You put out a press statement yesterday. The city did, saying that this entire block was closed on Apple Maps. You know what it shows? It shows this entire intersection closed. Look it up. You think I'm going to remove the barricades now? Yeah, you're out of your fucking mind. Don't ever pull that shit on me again. The entire police force was confused. Yeah, go ahead and call your chief, please. Get up right here. Oh, what's that on Twitter? The city of Allentown is advising residents and visitors to prepare for traffic and... Oh, it's on Twitter. thought you were on Twitter. We're the event will be hosted at the Twitter. PPL Center Three on Tuesday, out. October 29th, and it's set to start at 7 p.m. The city has announced street closures in the downtown area. 7th Street from Linden to Walnut and Hamilton Street from 6th to 8th Street will be closed starting at 5 p.m. on Monday. Your time has come. There's no way out of this one. We are fighting for America's future. And we understand the opportunity we have before us to turn the page on the fear. Somebody better check in on that dude because he might have drowned in a puddle or shot himself in the back of the head twice. You know, coincidences because bad things happen to good people all the time. Going to a rock concert or a Kamala speech? What'd you say, man? I was uh, talking about this guy down here, man. So you said something like a rap concert. You're just making things up now. No, I'm just wondering. Just asking. Oh, silly, man. You going to a rock concert or a speech? Both. Kamala is always drunk at the podium, so probably is a party. You voting for Trump this fall? What do you think? Yes, because you want America to be great again. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me guess. It's nice to fill up your car and it costs $60. It's great. You're broke! America's already great. Oh uh, yeah, how's filling up your car at the gas station? So great, right? Trump wants us back in slavery. That's just some BS nonsense you hear on your news station. Smart man, bringing his headphones in so he doesn't have to listen to Kamala Harris ramble about some BS he doesn't care about. Anyone got one reason I should vote for Harris? Same, because I don't have one either. If you cared about your country, you wouldn't be supporting a fascist. If you cared about your country, you wouldn't be walking in there to hear some alcoholic drunk woman spit some gibberish out in front of you. Well, let me tell you something. Oh yeah, listen to them, right? They told me not to talk about what a dumbass you are. Using cuss words because you can't say anything intelligent. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. The lady who told the man to not engage was right because this dude is definitely trolling. This dude just shows up to polls and says things that sound like average comments from Twitter and rage baits people into an emotional response so that he can make clickable content, which is hilarious. I see he's a man of culture. It doesn't get more American than that. Where boys and girls can all be queens every single day. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> hey, he don't know either, man. <laughs> hello, Charlie. What's your name? None your business. Okay, hello, nice to meet you, none your business. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, do you love America? Yes, I do. I hate America. I... Every state in the USA should be an independent country. What do you think of this? Well, I, I just first have to ask, since you hate the country, do you plan to leave? That, what do you mean by that? Do you plan to go live in another country? No, I do not. America is the only country where even those who hate it refuse to leave. That's how you know you live in a great country. Yeah, I can have a conversation with a person that doesn't like the direction that the country's going in, even if we disagree, because I know at heart we both want America to flourish. But if you're an American and you hate America, then you could just leave. I'm sure there'll be some hardworking, productive, legal immigrant that'll come replace you in an instant. Bye, bitch! Like, if I don't like tacos, I'm not gonna stand in a Taco Bell and complain about the cheesy, beefy burrito. I'm gonna take my black ass to McDonald's. <laughs> Who are you voting for in 2024? I will be voting for Camilla Harris. Camilla Harris? And why is that? Because the other option, Donald Trump, is like evil and worse. And do you have any specific reasons why he's evil? Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. A lot of like immigration laws, um, policies on like LGBTQ people, that kind of thing essentially. Do you have any specific things he said about LGBTQ people that he's against? Well, he doesn't like them. And that kind of doesn't work for me, especially with like trying to ban abortion, which isn't exactly the same issue, but is a related issue in like women's 
whatever. Mr. President, Mr. President. What is it? Green Goblin is attacking New York City. What? He's causing mass destruction right now. Should we alert Spider-Man? No. Send $50 billion to Israel right now. Or to the Ukraine, or to illegal immigrants, or to anybody but the struggling American family. I mean, this is literally happening right now, but instead of New York, it's North Carolina. We got money for everything and everybody else, but when there's a mentally ill, homeless veteran that needs help, the government goes, Hide the money, y'all! There's poor people around! <laughs> Speaking from the perspective as a woman, you are not a biological woman. There is a list of things that I am more excited to do than give birth to children at the moment. I'm more Ooh, Wait a second. To... Are you saying that there's a distinction between people who self-identify as women and biological women? No, I'm saying that you're Smart. not a biological woman. Well, then I can have the same exact lived experience you do. Do you identify as a woman? It, it wouldn't matter, would it? All that matters is that I could have the same exact lived experience as you if you make no distinction between the self-ID and the biological biological and if you don't and you said you don't then you can't say you're not a biological woman so therefore x i ain't gonna lie i'm getting cooked <laughs> you know what i am sorry for assuming your self id that was wrong on my part I'll so i can have the same exact lived experience as a biological woman right can i please speak yes or no could i have the same experience as a biological woman without being a biological woman under your worldview yes or no stop interrupting Somebody get this woman to run for president. She answered that like a politician. That stop interrupting me is iconic. All she's trying to do is disingenuously derail the conversation so she doesn't have to engage with it. She's trying to passive aggressively rile him up so that she can flip this into an emotional conversation so that she doesn't have to deal with the logic. Nice try, buddy. That's the oldest trick in the book. We see right through it now. Maybe you know that's not how this works. No, that's not how this works. Why does Kamala have to win? Because if we have to endure another four years of Donald Trump, I'll kill myself. <laughs> what did you not like about Donald Trump's presidency? He's a loser. I didn't know that. I just, uh, you're telling me now for the first time. Do you want somebody that sounds like an idiot every day on the news? I don't. What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? What could be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? I can't listen to it anymore. When we're talking She's, about the economy you know what? specifically, the economy what would you tell a people? carry over from the last administration. So you're saying it was good? No, it was. Yeah. Well, I'm saying he inherited a bad economy and had to build it up. It takes time. Huh. Are you guys Trumpers? Me? I'm, I'm definitely going to vote for Donald Trump. Yeah, we okay, go vote. ahead. You know what? I would need an erasure. Yeah, yeah. I, I can target sexuality just like I target gangsters. Nothing, nothing. Y'all aren't exempt just because y'all gay. We can pick on gay people. We can pick, pick on we, we pick on disabled people. We can pick on gay people. We can pick on y'all too. You got any? You got any gay friends? No. You listen to any gay artists? No. So what about after the day? Oh. Uh, what you think about that? Well, she fucking with me. So if she ain't no good and her music ain't no good, I'm gonna pick on her just like I do the other rappers. Oh no, you ain't gonna pick on this one. Well, if it's good, if it's good, if it's good, I if it's good, well, if you make them hits, then we go. I like good music. Luther Van Dross, gay, and I listen to him. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, who else? Who else? Young Buck. They say Young Buck gay. Young Buck got caught with the train. I still listen to Young talk, Buck. We talking about Queen D, though. That's if she Queen good, I like good music. If she Wittig make K. good music, her sexuality ain't got nothing to do with her gifts. So, basically... I was quick. just trying to question, nigga, if you had some against the community. Man, that was I do got concern. some against gay community. He's I think I think I do it. have against the gay community. I think the gay community is trying to push gayism off on everybody, even though we don't. Y'all are trying to make us accept it. So yeah, I got a problem with the gay community. I do. Why are you gonna blame well, the gay well, community? What make you feel like we? Because, to... but what it's, you mean? Be, 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 because so why why it's why? Choice, so if it's a choice, then why don't they let us tease them? Just like that. So everybody, but everybody else get teased in this world, right? What I'm saying. So why can't gay people? Listen, listen, listen. So listen. Why do my beliefs matter? So you gonna take a picture of me? Not if you, not if you question me about my beliefs. I ain't trying to change your beliefs. Yeah, you is. If you question me about it, I'm not asking you why you gay. You ask me, you see what I'm saying? You ask me why I don't like gay people. I'm not asking you why you gay. I'm not involved in gay people. I'm sorry, but I agree with him. Now, I don't think you should discriminate against people because of their sexuality, and I definitely don't think that you should hate people because of their sexuality. But just because you don't hate or discriminate against the LGTV community don't mean you gotta accept their lifestyle, and it damn sure don't mean you gotta promote their lifestyle to your kids. It first started off with, we just wanna be accepted, and that's fine. I think 99% of people are okay with that. You wanna be gay? Go be gay. And then it turned into, you have to like it, or we're gonna come after your job. And everybody's like, okay, okay, just leave me alone. And then it turned into, 
you have to be okay with us promoting it to your kids or you're a bad person. And that's where you got to draw the line. Especially if you're religious, I reserve the right to promote my values to my kids because they my kids. I just can't for the life of me understand why religious people are expected to respect these values, but people with these values are expected to respect religious values. Basically, if you want to be gay, go be gay, but leave the kids alone. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a W or an L and give me the HBO special. That's a help brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.